Hi, this is Gleb, and today I want to show how I run tests I want against the URL I want by using the pull request template on GitHub. So in my project, I have a test, and my pull request template contains a bunch of checkboxes with tags that I allow in this project. I have a checkbox for running all the tests, or just a log, sanity, user, and I can select multiple checkboxes. If I want to see all the tests in my project, I can do that using my utility find Cypress tests. But if I do npm run names, for example, it runs find Cypress specs names, which lists all the Cypress specs and all their tags. Well, you know, sometimes you have a lot of specs, so it's hard to see the tags only. That's why I can count them by using uh, find Cypress specs dash dash tags. So I have a couple of log uh, tests, a couple of tests, tag sanity, and one user test. Okay, well, uh, let's see how we can open a pull request and run those tests. So I'm gonna check out a new branch, let's say PR free, and just an empty commit, just to have something. Let's see right here, and this is my pull request template. Let's say we run the test that the mark user maybe you know the log ones as well so i'm going to create a pull request and it's running on circle ci now my application is actually deployed to a different um from a different repository it's deployed by default to to do mvc no test the cell app right so it looks like this so let's see what our tests are testing right now I'm gonna open Circle CI, open the workflow. It's installing, it's printing some environment variables, and then it will run the test. Okay, let's look at the end-to-end -end test job. Okay, so the tests are have finished, right? Because I'm spinning two boxes. But here's the interesting thing. It's picking the test to run based on a pull request. So it went back to the text of this pull request, found the checkboxes, and extracted all useful information, and it set Cypress Grab to only run those tests. Notice it found just two specs, right? So it did not run all the tests. In my plugin file, I'm using grab test from pull request plugin that gives me the text and of a pull request, right? So I have to pass the repo where the pull request resides, the PR number, and then it does the rest. And it does pick something and says the Cypress grab environment variables. Now, as you can see, it's not too terrible to set up. And if I look at the results on the Cypress dashboard, I can see that it executed two specs, right? And maybe I can see, I have a screenshot. So notice it uses the default base URL. Well, if I deploy somewhere else, for example, I create a preview deploy and now I want to test it, I can grab this URL and I can go back to the pull request and I can say base URL is whatever I have right here. Okay. And now we can just push another empty commit to trigger the tests again. Okay, my circle, right, on this branch is running again. Okay, let's look at the tests. So in this case, let me pull back the start. Notice it found the custom base URL that I put in my pull request text. So if I look now at the test run recording, and I look at the test results and I look at the new screenshot, I'm testing a different preview URL. So it's pretty convenient to put the URL into a pull request template, right? Because then you can add more tests, push more commits, maybe pick other tests to run, and then those tests will execute against the base URL that you have right here. So this is pretty convenient.